On a busy dig site, a man speaks to the camera. On screen text reads Tim Ewan, Senior Curator, Natural History Museum. My name is Tim Ewan, I'm a curator at the Natural History Museum with responsibility for fossil sea urchins and starfish. I'm here on a fossil expedition uh, to a quarry at a secret location in Quartzwolds and uh, the team behind me uh, are there uh, looking for fossils. The team clean and investigate different slabs of rock containing fossils. And what we're finding at this site are some of the most beautifully preserved uh, fossil sea urchins and starfish and other creatures called sea lilies and uh, feather stars that really I've ever seen from Britain and they're probably comparable to some of the best fossil uh, sea urchin starfish sites in the world. A woman with long blonde hair speaks to the camera from the quarry. Boxes of fossils are sitting on a trestle table in front of her. On screen text reads, co-discoverer of the fossils, Sally Hollingworth. I'm Sally Hollingworth and my husband and I, Nev, found uh, the crinoids by pure chance really. Uh, we came to the quarry and we were finding tiny, tiny urchin pieces nothing really you know amazing and we thought well, we'll take a slab home to see if there was anything on it he was out in the garage and revealed some of the crinoids that were on there and came running out and said, oh, you've got to come and see this you've got to come and see this because you know when we took it home it just looked like a lump of clay <laughs> it looked really boring <laughs> but um yeah revealing it and finding crinoids on there it was just amazing after images of sally and neville uncovering the crinoids from slabs of rock a man in a baseball cap speaks to the camera on screen text reads mark graham senior fossil preparator natural history museum i'm mark graham and i work in the conservation center at the natural history museum my job involves preparing fossils for scientific study and for public display in the galleries. But it's wonderful to be able to actually get out with some colleagues and do some field work. And it's super important this time because we've come to a quarry which is so spectacularly rich in really good condition fossils. So what we're doing, we're trying to go about it systematically. We're removing the top layers of the limestone, getting down to the layers that contain the clay. And then when we're turning those blocks over, on the underside of the limestone, we're finding these beautifully articulated echinoderms and starfish and such like. A close-up of grey, fossilised worms and starfish. The densities and the numbers of which I've never really seen before, they're, they're just coming out of the ground everywhere. Oh, it's totally amazing to be the first people to, to see some of these. There's a treasure hunter in all of us, isn't there? The team studying fossils. Over time-lapse footage of the team excavating the quarry, credits are displayed on the left-hand side on a semi-opaque black rectangle. Film Dan J. Brown, Duncan Gregory, Beth Ascom. Extra footage, Sally and Neville Hollingworth. Science, Tim Ewan, Mark Graham, Sally Hollingworth. Music, George Stiles. On the right-hand side is the Natural History Museum logo, consisting of the words Natural History Museum, displayed on a column flanked by a large letter N on the left. Text at the bottom reads, Copyright owned by the trustees of the Natural History Museum, London.